Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, when it comes to experiencing the city of Dallas or Fort Worth, sometimes a fresh perspective on fun is all you need. That's right. That's why some locals got together to create a new guide, so uh, so to speak of, of the 100 best things to do in Dallas and Fort Worth. Joining us now is Andrea Alcorn and Steve Richardson. Hello. Good morning. Hello. So, Good morning. Why'd you write this book? <laughs> well, Steve has published 16 mm -hmm. books, and um, the publishing house called Steve said they wanted to include Dallas and Fort Worth in a series, it's actually a national effort. Mm -hmm. They're doing Los Angeles, New York, oh, wow. uh, 13 other cities already are signed up. So we were honored to mm -hmm. be the ones to include Dallas and Fort Worth love it. in the other this, cities. Here's what I love that you've done, is you haven't just stated all the obvious. I mean, mm -hmm. you have some of the obvious, like going to Lone Star Park um, is fun, and uh, riding the, the uptown mm -hmm. trolley. Um, but like this one, number 35, save money by spending it at Sam Moon. Oh. And I haven't been yet. And Courtney keeps saying you need what? to go to Sam Moon. I haven't been yet. Okay. There's so much. And I was saying to you, I needed this last weekend because Scott and I could not figure out what to do all weekend. So um, you've got some great uh, restaurant recommendations. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with all these? Was it difficult? Not really. I think uh, we, Sally Bland was our other author. She has lived here. I think combined we've lived here 115 years. Oh, wow. Now, some of that obviously at the same time, not since 115 years ago, but Sally had a lot of good ideas. Andrea had a lot of good ideas. I was sort of maybe the sports person in right. this and had some of those ideas. And it, it really, uh, it was really kind of fun just to figure out some things that you hadn't always thought about. And, and we started digging around and we found some things, I think. It's like a bucket list for Dallas-Fort Worth. I mean, think about, okay, everyone in the studio, raise your hand if you've actually been to the Sixth Floor Museum. I'm One not. person, two, three, yeah. a couple, I'm but not. there are a lot of us who live here who haven't. So it's kind of like stating the obvious. Go see these that's, places. Yeah, that's obvious. But here's one that I love. Um, number 30 is bask in the glow of the stratospherically wealthy in Highland Park and University <laughs> Park. And I'm telling you, Scott and I used to spend hours like driving around the neighborhoods because mm -hmm. it's just relaxing and beautiful. And you can walk that um, park there mm -hmm. by, um, what is it, Exall Lake the, mm -hmm. up there in Highland Park on um, Lakeside Drive. It's gorgeous. So I love that that there are um, things that, that, you know, you wouldn't, typically think of what's your favorite thing in the book oh that's tough that's tough your number one if somebody says what do I only have two hours in Dallas what do I do it's a layover Ooh, what do I question. do Ooh, I would have to say that you have to have a steak at one of the great steakhouses mm -hmm. a margarita mm -hmm. Knox Henderson you can spend an afternoon just walking up and down because we you know it's varied from restaurants to bars to Timothy Ulton, you know, where you can go and see That's all the little arts cool and crafts store, stores. Yeah. I um, love so. this. And then, you know, talking about stating the obvious, fall on your backside at the gallery is ice rink. So, you know, it's keeping it, to, <laughs> keeping it real because you know you're probably going to do that. But I love this. This is really great. Steve, what's your favorite go-to? Well, I, I, it's, some of the things I think I've been to some of the great museums in the world, but there's some great museums mm -hmm. here, like the Dallas Museum of Art and, and other. And it's sort of like I haven't been to these places. But I, it was funny because we were doing the book, and I was walking down, down Knox Henderson, and I saw the drugstore, the old-timey drugstore, the Highland the Park, Park uh, yes. drugstore. Mm -hmm. And that was, I thought, I would have never even discovered that or thought of it. But I kind of looked over there. That's in our our book, you have know, you and had a shake there. No, I have not, but these two have, and so I'm going to do that because <laughs> oh we gosh, have to combine, you know, obviously. That. Yeah, that's and a great thing to take the kids and just so walk, walk down the Apple stores there, so they can go in and see, you know, look. So, in the did Apple you store. guys do all of these things on this list before you put them in the book? Yeah. Someone did. Someone did. did. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I will only own up to most of the sports things. I've done most of the sports things, or all of those. What was that I about a fiery it. sermon? Did I just see that there? I think I saw <laughs> The Potter's House. The Potter Here at Fiery yeah. Sermon by T.D. Jakes at The Potter's House, which you have to. It is an experience in and of itself. Well, so I, I agree mean, with that. There were a lot of other churches, too, that we wanted to put in. I mean, I wanted it to be called a million things to sure. do, but 
the publisher kept saying, Andrew, that's not the deal. And so we well, went to 100. Now you, now you get to update no. it, right? Will you be updating this oh, book? We're already this book? working on Are the you? next 100 Hi. things to okay, do. Okay, will you Dallas add Fort coming Worth. to the broadcast and sitting in the audience at the broadcast? Oh, absolutely. To a absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. absolutely. You're in. I love it. Well, there's a book signing celebration happening tonight at Sevy's <laughs> Restaurant. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night. night, excuse me. Tomorrow night at Sevy's from, in Dallas from 4.30 to 7. And if you can't make it out there but still want a copy of the book, just head to the broadcasttv.com and click on today's links to find out how to get your copy. Okay, don't go anywhere because when the broadcast comes back, we are showing you how you can lose 10 pounds in five minutes. Sign huh? me up. Put that Stick in the around. book. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. Fun stuff, you guys.